welcome back to the White Stoner channel here on YouTube. Uh, well, I just wanted to say thank you all so much. We finally hit the 600 subscriber mark. I can't believe I made it this far. Um, I don't know what to say, but um, just thank you all so much. I can't believe you all st um, stuck it w stuck it out with me when I had no ideas, and then when I had good ideas. So uh, thank you all so much for for subscribing to my channel. And um, let's get into the video, and this is going to be a um, big wrestling update, is what I'm going to title this one. So I'm going to be talking about um, WWE and AEW. So we got some big news with um, WWE right now. So last night uh, was SummerSlam. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really entertaining. I really wish I could have been there since it was in my home state and we were um, only 90 something miles from there so it's it's all right someday I'll go so um uh, Jay Uso almost defeated uh, Roman Reigns last night it was so close until Jimmy Uso came out of nowhere and he turned heel he um, betrayed his brother, so I'm not sure what to think about that just yet, but um, that was very interesting. <laughs> so, if you don't know it, I'm a huge Roman fan. I really like his heel character here, and I've been a fan ever since the start of the Bloodline, so um, I'm pretty happy that his title reign is still going. I was really happy that um, Gunter retained his title. I'm a big fan of him. Um, I'm pretty scared of what's going on with the Judgment Day. I didn't like uh, that ending so much because it didn't make sense. So, really, um, we we know we all know that the Judgment Day is having problems, but um, I would, I didn't care for the ending so much. Um, and I believe um, Finn Balor should have won, and. Um, I think um, Damien could have cashed in, maybe on Roman. I mean, I doubt he would have won, um, but um, he definitely could have cashed in on Roman, maybe, and um, won the title. If he was already beaten down like he was, he might have won the title. And then everybody in the Judgment Day would have had a title. That could be cool. Um, what other things have been going on? Um... The Street Profits are now joining the Hurt Business, so that's going to be very interesting. They are now heels. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with them. And I guess Michael Cole and um, Corey Graves are switching places. So Michael Cole is going to be on um, Raw again, and Corey Graves is going to be on SmackDown. So, And then going... Um, I know there's more things to talk about of what, what's been going on in WWE. I just have to think. Uh, I'm sure we'll, uh, I'll think of more. Um, with AEW, um, I am very impressed with it. I just cannot believe I haven't been watching since the beginning. Um, I kind of feel bad now that I haven't. Um, but I have been enjoying, um, everything that AEW has thrown at us, so we watch it now, we watch AEW Dynamite, we watch AEW Rampage, and then AEW Collision, um, I think I like Collision a lot, because, um, I would usually watch my DVDs, my wrestling DVDs on Saturdays, and some of them actually felt like Yes, this is what a Saturday is supposed to feel like. So, um, watching live wrestling actually on Saturdays is um, super cool. So, um, I really enjoy um, uh, Collision. That's pretty cool. And that parking lot um, brawl match basically with 
Mox Liang on Friday. Oh, that was super cool. That was my first one I've seen on AEW. Um, seeing Big Sh uh, Paul White over there was pretty cool. And then um, this Wednesday, the Hardys are going to face the Young Bucks. Um, and I can't wait to see that. Um, Big Bill and... Um, um, and his partner, I hope, are going to be the new cha tag team champions, or pretty soon, unless that match already happened. I don't, I don't remember. Um, you guys will correct me. But yeah, Big Bill, um, he was Big Cass, so I like his character over here on AEW. Um, Big Bill is uh, really cool. I really enjoy uh, the way they're using him. Um, they're not using him like a seven foot, um, boring giant monster like they usually would. They're using him like a seven foot monster who's ready to fight anybody in his way. So, I really enjoy that. Um, and outside of the TNA DVDs, this is my first company also outside of WWE watching the Hardys. So, um, I've seen them fight a little bit on Rampage. It was, um, really cool. And, um, I've seen them win this past Friday. And that was, uh, really cool, too. So, I can't wait to see what they have planned, um, for Dynamite this Wednesday. And, um, I'm really enjoying, uh, Dominic's, uh, run in the WWE right now. I couldn't stand him too much as a face because he seemed um, boring and that's that's obvious because he was new so that's gonna happen of course you're gonna feel that um, but yeah I really like his heel character right now and I like um, where he's going and his title run I really I'm enjoying that so it's giving me a reason to watch NXT now so that's um, really cool and um, the amount of booze he gets is just out of this world and it um, it brings me joy because I really like that if you're getting booed hardcore like that that means you're doing um, your job as a heel and it's uh, a good job if you can get the crowd to hate you that much. So, Dom's doing a great job, I think. Um, what else is there? Hmm. Well, for whatever reason, I can't think of um, anything else. But, um, the, be uh, the blood and gore, uh, what was it, blood and guts... That steel cage match, or whatever it was on AEW, that match um, pretty much blew my mind. I couldn't believe Moxley came out with a fork. Uh, I mean, that's one weapon I didn't think anybody would have used, but um, that was really cool. That A uh, really, really cool match. And then basically after that, to, um, after seeing that match... Uh, is pretty much why I continued to watch AEW. Um, I just wanted to see what they had. And and it feels like I'm watching WWE, basically. Um, with the amount of former WWE superstars over there, it's like, why haven't I been watching this before? I know just about everybody over there. So, um, I've been enjoying AEW, and it's... Um, really impressing me so um at some point i'm gonna have to start getting the dvds i guess from ebay or somewhere um because i i didn't think i was ever gonna get the dvds i was like eh aw eh it just didn't catch my attention i guess before but it's really catching my attention now and I'm really enjoying it so um if there's anything else going on in WWE that I'm missing 
please let me know in the comments if I should have said something. Because I know I'm missing quite a bit of things. But um, the big thing is also in AEW. I cannot believe I almost forgot this. So I cannot believe um, this past Wednesday. Um, I don't remember the, the opponent's name. It, I think it was like Jerry something. Or I could be so wrong. But you guys will know. Um, I can't believe RVD came out and challenged him to a match. So this Wednesday, it's going to be J uh, RVD fighting again for the FTW Championship. And it's going to be so wild. Um, I was really surprised to see RVD. I couldn't believe it. And then um, another thing. See, I said... All these things I'm thinking of now that I asked you guys. So, um, the big thing that I couldn't believe happened last night was um, Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. That was a great match. Um, I think it was better than their um, first two matches, in my opinion. But, um... What Brock Lesnar did at the end was the most shocking thing ever. So I've been seeing a lot of posts saying Brock Lesnar doesn't give the amount doesn't get the amount of respect that he deserves. And honestly that is true. People see Brock Lesnar as this animal like person who just wants to hurt you. Basically that's how he um shows himself, but um no. He's probably uh, more nice than we think. Um, I cannot believe he hugged Cody Rhodes, and I cannot believe he raised his arm. That was the most shocking thing I've seen him do since the shooting star press at WrestleMania 19. Um, I just couldn't, could not believe that happened. So, um, and then. We don't know what's going on with um, with Billy Gunn or not. If he's retiring or not. Um, they had a match a, a few weeks ago. And then they lost. And then he started undoing his boots. And whatnot. And it's like. What's going on? Don't don't retire now that I'm starting to watch AEW. Um, but. Um, that's pretty much it. Um. I know there's probably some more interesting thing that's going on in, a in um, AEW or WWE. If I missed anything, just let me know in the comments down below. And I want to say once again, thank you to all the new subscribers who are here. And welcome aboard. Um, I cannot believe we hit 600 subscribers. Well, over 600 now. There's like 603 subscribers, so... I cannot believe it. Um, we did it. Now we just need... We just need like four, 400 more subscribers and then we'll hit a thousand. So we're getting there, guys. Let's do it. Um, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to update me if I miss anything for wrestling this week um and your host white stoner is out